Hi, my name is Teresa Pastoriza Tan. I am a mixed media artist originally from Brooklyn, New York. I arrived to North Carolina in 2016 after many years as an elementary teacher in, pub in a public school in New York City. Um, I, we got to a point where my husband and I decided that we wanted a change in life and we wanted um, to slow things down so we made the move to North Carolina and during that time here in North Carolina I transitioned from teaching to becoming a full-time artist. Uh, my background like I said is in elementary education so I spent over 15 years um, in public schools and during that time I took various classes. Uh, my art background is a mishmash of uh, classes taken, uh, continuing ed classes and online workshops. So I've pulled from formal classes and a lot of informal classes. Um, mixed media is um, an art form that allows me to be very expressive in my work and um, as you can see in these pieces, there's a lot of freedom and um, movement and um, energy. So being able to use different media allows me to, um, to do this. When I was creating these pieces um, and when I do my mixed media work, I often work on multiple pieces at a time. Um, in the beginning of my process, there's a lot of intuitive mark making and I use a lot of acrylic paint to lay down uh, big swatches of color. I use a uh, pencil to make marks. I use collage. And in the beginning, it's really free and um, like I said, intuitive. And then it goes through a middle stage where it's a bit chaotic and I have to reel it in. It's a lot of problem solving and um, figuring out uh, what to keep, what to take out, um, what I want to add. And then towards the end of the process, the whole uh, the pieces start to mature a bit and I um, start to block out these cloud shapes that have kind of made their way into the pieces seemingly on their own, but like I said earlier, I moved to North Carolina to get away from that chaos and that the speed of life that we were living in New York City. Um, and I suppose that's what these kind of backgrounds represent, that energy, that chaos, and, and then this calm. So these cloud shapes, being in North Carolina, there's such an expanse of sky and trees and um, they've kind of just made their way into my work. Um, if you look at this piece over here, so one of my favorite pieces is, is this one. Um, it's called Windswept. Uh, and this, this cloud had just kind of made its way like this and I really like how there's this chaos and a lot going on here and things kind of make sense and they don't make sense. Um, you kind of get a sense that it's a landscape but it could be something else um, and it really speaks to this duality of um, hard and soft and heavy and light, um, chaos and calm and uh, I think that that kind of you can see that in a, throughout these pieces. If we move over here to the center pieces, they uh, are not, it's a little bit of a shift. So um, moving away from these kind of landscape looking pieces to pieces that are now being inspired by um, textiles. I have a big interest in textiles. My mom was a seamstress. I grew up um, in a basement full of fabric and I'm very much interested in the textiles of Latin America, of Peru, of Ecuador, and um, exploring how to create textures and uh, 
fabric-like or textile-like pieces on paper. So my process here is similar in that I start off with blocks of color and a lot of chaos, but then um, I deconstruct those and then construct them again almost like a patchwork uh, to create these collage pieces here. So, and like I mentioned, my background is from New York and um, my mom is from Ecuador and that has kind of played into these landscape pieces. Uh, I have memories that kind of come in. They're not intentional, but they do find their way um, into my pieces. So oftentimes uh, the names will reflect places that I remember um, from my trips to Ecuador as a child or as an adolescent. Um, or they might represent something very loosely uh, that I uh, connect with from Brooklyn. Um, and that's how I get those, that's how I name the pieces. Um, so a lot of the process starts with these blocks of color, like I mentioned, um, where uh, there are some marks, there might be some bits of collage. I'll go back into that and add more paint and just keep going back and forth until the very end. Um, and then I will start to add some of that oil pastel and more pencil marks until I feel like uh, a sense of like rest that I can, um, I just, there's just like a sense of being content since moving to North Carolina, I've um, exhibited at Golden Belt Art Campus. I had a solo show in the one of the galleries. Um, I have participated in some group shows at the Durham Arts Council, and I was also a part of a um, small group show called Herencia, uh, which was at Art Space in Carborough. It was a uh, juried show for a Latino Latina, Latinx um, artist in the North Carolina area and now here at Frank Gallery. So um, North Carolina has definitely provided me many opportunities to pursue this, this art career that I really delved into and started in 2018. Um, as far as artists who have influenced me, uh, I've living in New York City, I've had the luxury of um, visiting a lot of cultural centers and being able to see a lot of art and also I've traveled and seen a lot of art, um, but I wouldn't say that anything, any one artist particularly um, influenced my work as of now. I have more recently become very interested in uh, female abstract expressionist artists like Lee Krasner and Joan Mitchell and so that's an ongoing study for me. I'm very interested not only in you know their extraordinary work, their use of color and their marks, but also um, just being women during a, the time that they were producing this art and how you know that influenced or played a part in in their work.